All right, they just made their way in. Growing concerns today after armed Homeland Security agents raided the L.A. and Miami homes of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs Monday. Sources tell CBS News the simultaneous searches are part of a possible sex trafficking investigation. After federal agents raid two homes owned by Sean Diddy Combs. Agents armed and wearing tactical gear entered the Mogul's estates in Los Angeles and Miami yesterday. And right now it's not clear why. Mm -hmm. But as Jared Hill explains, this all comes after months of sexual misconduct allegations against Combs. All right, they just made their way in. Growing concerns today after armed Homeland Security agents raided the L.A. and Miami homes of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs Monday. Sources tell CBS News the simultaneous searches are part of a possible sex trafficking investigation by federal agents in New York. The fact that you see federal law enforcement raiding two of Sean Combs' homes indicates that they think that there's evidence of potential wrongdoing at those residents. You can see people in handcuffs outside of Combs' California property, though no sign of Diddy himself. The execution of simultaneous search warrants indicates that they don't want anybody to hide potential evidence of wrongdoing. For the past few months, Diddy, one of the biggest names in entertainment, has been embroiled in numerous sexual assault allegations. Last November, his former girlfriend, R&B singer Cassandra Ventura, better known as Cassie, filed a federal lawsuit alleging a long history of violence and abuse in the nearly decade-long relationship. She reached a settlement with Combs while the entertainer denied any wrongdoing. Since then, Combs has been accused of sexual misconduct in five different civil suits, including last month from Diddy's former music producer, Rodney Jones, who claimed the mogul sexually harassed and drugged him sometime between 2022 and 2023. Jones also said Combs pressured him to hire prostitutes and perform sex acts. Combs' attorney called allegations pure fiction. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. All right, so that's what happened to this guy. And... Uh, somebody, uh, while all this was going on, TMZ, I don't know how they find these things, okay? Somebody saw P. Diddy walking around. It's, you know, it's not a good call today, but I'll just share it with you guys, okay? I guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. I know. him there walking uh, pacing around while the raid was going on according to to, uh, to TMZ yeah so they slowed it down so you can actually see that's definitely him yep that's definitely him yep and it looks uh, yeah so the word is like if they do that simultaneously like that and that was dhs they went in there guns blazing the whole nine yards it's uh it's a lot you know it's a lot so who knows what's going to happen to him and somebody you know they were interviewing some of um eyewitnesses they say that you know they were seeing people going in and out you know what i'm saying who people who lived in the community over there cars dropping some girls things of that nature but who knows you know but hey there's nothing that is that will stay hidden right god is not mocked so let's see what this guy had to say it's this is so very disturbing very very disturbing it appears that it seems as though federal law enforcement officers have been paying attention to those lawsuits and want to do some poking around to see if there's any uh, evidence that these uh, accusations are actually give rise to federal crimes. And of course, when you look at civil lawsuits, you think it's civil, but federal investigators or law enforcement simply can't ignore, you know, these major allegations of sex rings and drug trafficking. So they had to take some action. Absolutely. And we're seeing this trend where civil lawsuits are giving rise to uh, criminal investigations. We've seen that with Jeffrey Epstein. We've seen that with Harvey Weinstein. We've seen that with R. Kelly, where there's smoke, sometimes law enforcement officers believe there's fire. And uh, based upon some of the empirical evidence, sometimes that happens to be true. So it appears that, you know, this is a very well-known person. Uh, he's well-known in, in Hollywood. So this is going to be a big case for federal law enforcement officers. Now, we got here where it began with Cassie Ventura, the ex-girlfriend, right? Yes. What happened in that case when she filed a civil lawsuit, not criminal? So she filed a civil lawsuit uh, detailing uh, that she was uh, sometimes forced to have sex with uh, sex workers uh, while 
while being drugged. And as soon as that lawsuit came out, they quickly settled. That's not an admission of guilt, um, but certainly uh, there was reason to settle. After that happened, there was a string of other lawsuits that came out. At least three other uh, women also made similar accusations of having sex with sex workers, being drugged. And that led to the most bombshell case, which was actually by a former producer on Diddy's album, The Love Album. Uh, his name was Rodney Jones. And he not only made those accusations, but he also uh, had his form of receipts. Okay. Now, we don't necessarily know if those receipts are uh, accurate. Uh, they haven't been um, they haven't been proven in court. Right. But he, he provided pictures in his in his lawsuit detailing that P. Diddy and his children, his sons, uh, were having uh, sex parties with underage sex workers, that oftentimes people were drugged, that he himself was drugged and woke up in the bed of sex workers and Diddy, um, detailing that P. Diddy usually would record these um, incidents, which is another reason why law enforcement officers may be interested in uh, looking into these homes. Um, sexual assault cases can be very difficult to prove. Mm -hmm. Human trafficking cases can be difficult to prove. And the way law enforcement officers typically try to prove those cases is by looking into cell phone data, video footage. Uh, in the uh, lawsuit, which was a 75-page lawsuit, uh, Mr. Jones detailed that P. Diddy often would record these uh, acts on his own cell phone, as well as hidden cameras uh, throughout the house. So do we think uh, an arrest is anytime close or soon, or are they just gathering evidence at this point? So that's the situation with P. Diddy, uh, and they raided both of those homes at the same time, confiscated some cameras, things of that nature, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good. And, hey man, you know, you live that type of lifestyle, sooner or later the rooster is going to come home to roost. And the idea of th his own son is also implicated in these things, allegedly, that his son was also participating, like he... <sighs> That's so gross. That's so gross, but innocent until proven guilty, as they say. As they say. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.